Hi and welcome in London at the Computing Conference 2018. I'm here sitting next to a mathematician, Ricardo Perez Barco. Welcome, how are you enjoying the conference so far? Very well, thank you very much. Uh, it's a very nice conference, a very diverse one. Uh, it's a bit unusual for me because mm -hmm. I'm a mathematician. It's mm -hmm. my first time in a computing conference. Really? But you do work in computer sciences? Well, I mean, the relation with the computing is that I work on Bitcoin and blockchain mm -hmm. and cryptocurrencies. Uh, and I have been focused in these last years on, on this type of research that is very new. Yes, because Bitcoin and blockchain, those are the words we have been he hearing over the past couple of days. Um, yes. It is a bit of a hype, right? There is a little bit, yeah. But when I started to be interested in the topic, nobody was interested mm, in 2011, so 2012. Yeah. Not, not really the first, but uh, at the beginning it was not really a research uh, topic, but mm -hmm. uh, was more personal interest. And like two, three years ago, I started to do some research on Bitcoin and blockchain because there are many mathematical problems yes, yeah. uh, that are indeed not properly addressed in the literature. Okay, can you give us some examples of, of those issues? Well, I mean, with uh, my collaborator, Cyril Grunspan, who's also a mathematician that works in Paris uh, mm -hmm. with me, uh, we, we did correct the mathematical section in, in Satoshi's Bitcoin paper. Ah, so that, that's so the base of the whole Bitcoin. Yes, uh, and there is a section where he computes the probability of a double spend. Mm. So it's a way to cheat the system. So this probability decreases exponentially with the number of confirmations. And there is a probability computation that has some approximation that mm. we, we did compute the exact probability okay. without yeah. having to do this. Uh, this uh, this approximation. And then also we work on, on different types of attacks that exist on the Bitcoin network, like selfish mining, stubborn mining. And so that right has now, to do with security mostly? Yes, yeah. this is mostly about the security of the network. And, and more recently we are working now on, on the Lightning Network, which is a second layer payment protocol mm -hmm. that will allow instant payments. And there is, well, okay, the, the theoretical foundation is, is well set up and what you need to determine is a mathematical problem how to find the, the, the routing of the payments mm. on the Lightning Network. So those are the things you're trying to fix at the moment? Well, right now it is, this, is, this is what people are, are building. I mean, ah. uh, the Lightning Network is being implemented mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the, the main question is how that it will be able to scale to hundreds of millions of users yes. yeah. uh, so that it will provide a, an instantaneous and free payment network uh, like the visa would be ideal be, yeah yes would put out of Venus visa <laughs> and do, do you think we can actually re re reach that point or uh, right, right now the implementation well you know what happens with the Bitcoin payments is that uh, it takes some time because you need to have several confirmations mm. in order to be able to spend the money yeah, it's you receive. quite slow at the moment yes yeah. so it may take uh, half an hour or one hour you yeah. know to to get the funds uh, at your disposition with the Lightning Network, you will be able to do instantaneous payments. That's what we want. Like, like yes. what you do when you pay with a credit card. Exactly, you know? and nowadays the, yeah. the, the contactless even. I mean, yeah. to have an idea is that uh, with the Bitcoin Network, you have uh, an average like six, seven transactions per second. Mm -hmm. You will need like thousands of transactions per second to scale to a planetary At level. At least be possible, yeah. Yeah, so this, this is what we are working on. Okay, and I mean, are you getting there? Well, I think people are, are, have a, a clear picture how to to run a Lightning Network with uh, uh, up to a million users. Mm. Now, the problem we are working now is how to improve the routing algorithms ah. for that, and, and in order to be able to scale to, to several hundred million uh, users. And, and how long will it take, do you think? Well, we have, uh, well, there are different propositions of uh, mm. different routing algorithms, uh, and most of, most of these algorithms need to be tested before mm. being implemented. Yeah. And, and we are in the process of testing them. Ah, okay, so you're that far already? Yeah, we, we, we have the different propositions, theoretical propositions. Now, well, one is it being implemented, yeah. one is being implemented, but it needs some uh, knowledge of the geometry of the, of the network, mm -hmm. which is not what we want, because what you want is to have some kind of decentralized payment network. So That's nobody the whole idea, yeah. It, the question is, do you, you, if you have some nodes that have more information, geometric mm -hmm. information, the network is more vulnerable. Yeah. If, if, if these, these nodes uh, are attacked or mm -hmm. blocked, then you can, you can block the, net, the payment network. So the goal is to, is to build systems that are decentralized, mm -hmm. that have this uh, property, as Taleb will say, of anti-fragile, mm -hmm. that even if uh, a country decides to block the network, yeah. he can 
It doesn't do really, any harm. He cannot do, he can block maybe locally, but not globally. Yes. Okay. Right. Like, like Bitcoin, Bitcoin works that way. Okay. Now we've heard different sounds about Bitcoin and blockchain mm. here on the conference. Some people are really in favor of it and others aren't believers. They're really skeptical. Mm -hmm. um, do you think Bitcoin or something comparable will one day maybe um, take over the role of our banks uh, that we're used to now? Well, this is the goal. I mean, mm. uh, the Satoshi Nakamoto paper with a sodomy, nobody, nobody knows who, who will Bitcoin. No, he, he, uh, he's the, the mystery, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, and this is a good thing because it's kind of a, an anonymous work uh -huh. and it's software for everyone yes. so you can have a peer-to-peer -peer payment mm -hmm. without going through a bank or through an organization or through a company. I think this is a great thing, it's a great idea. So maybe some people don't like it for some reasons but uh, uh, it, it, it recovers the um, true money for people, I mean the control of the money to people and not you to government or central back. bank yeah. because central banks have the power to print more money or not. And in Bitcoin, it's, it's, it's all program, it's in the protocol. You know how many Bitcoins there are at every moment and how many will be in, in, in two years. And so this is your personal ambition, maybe for in a, in a couple of years, to actually make banks useful? You see, you see as a currency, the main problem it has right now is that it's very volatile. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason is that um, sometimes there is a, a lot of interest in the market and the market is not very liquid. Mm. So the, um, when you look at the price of Bitcoin, it has an evolution by bubbles, yeah. uh, which is not very suitable for a currency that you prefer to so have something more stable. But currently, we've seen the value de decreasing. Oh, well, yeah, there was the last bubble that the price went up to almost $20,000, mm. and right now it's around $6,000. Do you but think it will go up again, or will yeah, it stabilize? Sure. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, well, for sure, you know, it, <laughs> if, if the system continues to work, it has to go up for the simple reason that uh, the number of Bitcoins that are produced uh, at every moment is decreasing mm -hmm. over time. <laughs> every four years, there is what is called a halving, so the number of Bitcoins that are produced per each ah. 10 minutes is, is, de is divided by two. Uh, that will shoot up the values. Yes, yeah. so this, this creates scarcity. At the, in the total, right now, there is a, over a little bit over 70 million Bitcoins mm -hmm. that have been created. And in total, there will be no more than 21 million. So this means that um, if people keep using it, mm -hmm. uh, then the value has to go up because you know it's, it's, it's also divisible. Every Bitcoin is decomposed into 100 million satoshis, which is mm -hmm. are the basic unit. So um, <laughs> this this makes no problem that the fact that there are only 21 million. I mean, it will be very hard for anyone to have one Bitcoin. It will not yeah. be possible. Yeah. But then you have uh, you can have satoshis, you know, so you can it have will fractions. Rise again in yeah. Your so historically, uh, what you see is that there have been right now we have been four or five bubbles mm -hmm. like this one every two years. Yes. One uh, between yeah. one and three years there is a bubble, and and but it, will, it will happen again. Well, this is if 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 the system continues to work and mm -hmm. it's not. I mean, you know, you never know with this new type of technologies and things because sometimes, I mean, a, a new currency might appear Something that is much better. Yeah. And uh, and there there are many alternative currencies uh -huh. that exist right now because the, it's open source, so anyone can take the code, change it, and create its own exactly. currency. You know, um, but uh, if everything continues in the same way, and and adoption keeps increasing, mm -hmm. the price needs to go up, but okay. it will not go up linearly. It will go by bubbles. So if you look at the log scale of the price, uh -huh. it really grows very linearly. Yeah, yes, it, it grows exponentially no. right now. It's, it's a barrel adoption, you know? Yes. So, it, so you at the beginning, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exponential growth, and, more and, more and then at some point, it will, it will have a plateau. Normalize, uh, yeah. yeah. Now for yourself, the next, let's say, a couple of months, maybe the years, what yeah. will you be focusing on exactly? Well, right now we are thinking about these routing algorithms on the mm -hmm. Lightning Network. Right, this, this, Th that this, is your main focus. This is, this is yeah, the, or, or, or main interest right okay. now. So, nice. I'd love to hear some more about it, and obviously we can hear and read more about it once you're published. Thank you for being here. If you want to Thank know you. more about blockchain or Bitcoin, or maybe even the air quality or rehab ah. games, we have videos about all of that, so make sure to click on them, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.